Halloween is coming! And while the big horror releases have been teasing us for months, August saw a wave of trailers for low-profile horror movies that haven't yet caught the public eye. From a psychotic RV to sadistic dance instructors to a haunted pizza parlor, fear is going to come in all flavors this year. Even if you aren't a horror fan, you'll find a lot of other types of films to get excited about in the coming months. So here's a roundup of all the new movie trailers from August that'll blow you away. The Toy Box Combining the isolated desert setting of The Hills Have Eyes with the innate horror of a family road trip, The Toy Box is a movie that asks the all-important question, what if your RV was evil? Everything in this camper is gonna die. Silly, sure, but it's also the perfect horror villain. What are you gonna do? Run away from it? It's a car, it'll catch you. And when you're alone in the desert with nobody around for miles, anything with wheels is guaranteed to have the last laugh. Denise Richards and Misha Barton headline the toy box, which revs into theaters on September 18th. Await further instructions. There are disastrous family reunions, and then there's whatever's happening in the trailer for Await Further Instructions, a sci-fi horror film about a family that wakes up to find all their windows and doors blocked by a strange black shield. Their only clue about what's going on is a sinister message on the TV telling them to await further instructions. From indie production label Dark Sky Films, the company behind recent genre films such as Mohawk, It Stains the Sands Red, and the masterpiece Birdemic, Await Further Instructions looks like that rare low-budget film that uses every last dollar to deliver a sleek, stylish experience. You can take a look when it hits theaters in early October. Bad Times at the El Royale August's stylish trailer for Bad Times at the El Royale does a great job of building the excitement for what looks like one of the best movies of the year. The trailer introduces the main characters and offers a few tantalizing glimpses of the madness going down at the El Royale, a seedy hotel on the border of Nevada and California where the fates of seven strangers will come to a head. Writer and director Drew Goddard took on his first feature film in 2012 with Cabin in the Woods, and this has the looks of yet another genre classic in the making. Get ready for good times at the theater when Bad Times at the El Royale checks in on October 12th. First Man There's a lot of talent pouring into Universal's upcoming historical drama First Man. Written by Josh Singer of Spotlight, directed by Damien Chazelle of La La Land, and produced by Steven Spielberg, First Man tells a riveting story of Apollo 11, the mission which saw Neil Armstrong become the first man to set foot on the lunar surface. Ryan Gosling steps into the space boots as Armstrong, leading an amazing cast that includes Claire Foy and Corey Stahl. The film will focus on the years leading up to the historic moon landing and how the mounting pressure took a toll on Armstrong's family life. Check it out when First Man lands in theaters on October 12th. Airstrike You'll get at least one chance to take a break from the all-horror in late October with Airstrike, a World War II action thriller starring Adrian Brody and Bruce Willis. Based on the true story of the Japanese bombing of a Chinese town in 1941, Airstrike isn't afraid to take that momentous historical tragedy and turn it into a CGI action first. Sir, please allow us to go kick some ass. So yeah, Airstrike doesn't look like it's on track to win any awards, but there are probably enough explosions here to make for a fun time at the movies. Look for it in theaters on October 26th. Suspiria Out of all the horror movies hitting theaters this fall, who knew that the one about a ballet school would look like one of the scariest? And yet that seems to be the case with Suspiria, an upcoming horror thriller produced by Amazon Studios. This remake of the classic 1977 film takes place at a dance academy where a new student begins to suspect that something sinister is going on behind the curtains. Judging by the trailer, Suspiria is banking on a steep dive into psychological terror and plenty of supernatural imagery to deliver the chills. Take a look when it hits select theaters on October 26th. A Private War Based on a true story, A Private War chronicles a life of foreign correspondent Marie Colvin, who spent most of her career covering armed conflicts around the world, one of which ultimately took her life. Rosamund Pike stars as Colvin with Jamie Dornan and Stanley Tucci co-starring. Expect plenty of hard-hitting drama when A Private War hits theaters in limited release on November 2nd, followed by a widespread release on November 16th. Outlaw King most people probably know Robert the Bruce as the guy in the chainmail hoodie who portrayed William Wallace in Braveheart. But there's a lot more to this Scottish hero than handsome goatees and internal conflict. 
Netflix's upcoming Outlaw King follows Robert on his bloody path from enemy of the crown to king of Scots and his war against England for Scottish independence. Chris Pine stars as Robert the Bruce and by the looks of the trailer, Outlaw King will favor historical accuracy over fictionalized drama. Outlaw King will enjoy a limited theatrical release on November 9th before streaming on Netflix. Slice no doubt about it, 2018 is a serious year for serious horror movies, which is why a good horror comedy like Slice is such a welcome change of pace. The A24 production centers on a pizza place that also happens to be a gateway to hell, and a werewolf that's picking off the delivery stuff. It's up to Astrid, played by Zazie Beetz, to track down the werewolf and stop the legions of hell from taking over the town. Looks like I'm going on a wolf hunt tonight. Slice is set to be released in fall 2018. Heretics Nuns are the perfect vehicle for horror. With their suspicious black and white habits and their easy access to creepy church basements, Nuns and Terror are the cinematic peanut butter and jelly. You don't even have to try and you still get a good sandwich. And Heretics is delivering the goods with a nun-based creep fest straight out of your nightmares. This movie has nuns in all the shadows and shadows in every corner. Is it a little convenient that Heretics is coming out right alongside Warner Brothers' high-profile chapel chiller The Nun? Probably, but it still looks like it'll hit all the right notes for a fun, late-night horror flick. Heretics still doesn't have a specific release date, so fingers crossed it doesn't sneak up on us. Check it out sometime in 2018.